Okay, so is anyone else completely done with winter already? <laughs> That is exactly how I'm, I am feeling. Uh, luckily, today's a little bit better. We have like positive degrees, um, but it's like only January 11th and I'm so ready for spring. Uh, a friend of mine and I took a trip to Belize last minute and it was beautiful and sunny there. And then we came back to like the coldest days on record in like decades, which I was not about. We should have just stayed in Belize. <laughs> Um, but the good news is that spring will eventually come and right now we have our Stella and Dot spring collection available to you. It launched on January 5th so everything I'm going to show you today is uh, available to purchase and you can do so in the comments below. Remember that 30% of our line is versatile and um, 50% of our line is under $60 Canadian, under $50 American. So um, super great price points. And for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Chantal Wall, and I am an associate director out of Toronto, Canada, and I've been with the company for over five years now, and I gotta tell you, it just keeps getting better and better. Uh, I'm particularly excited about the two statement necklaces that I that I got in this go around. So let's let's just get started, shall we? Um, I'll start with one of the statement necklaces. This one is called the Sullivan, and it is a versatile piece. So um, what it looks like is happening here, so there's, there's two kind of blocks of beading. So there's this white beading. I actually thought it was more silver from the pictures before, but you can see here, this is actually like white with gold flecks. And then there's um, the, the silver and gold below. And I think this is a really great mixed metal piece. These whites will um, call to uh, winter whites for winter, but then it's gonna be a really great transition piece into the spring. And so again, you can wear them just the white and gold pieces, or or just the mixed metal pieces or obviously together as well. Um, so this is uh, a lovely, lovely piece. Again, that one's called the Sullivan. A great match for that is going to be this ret cuff in silver. So it's got silver and then it's got these little um, gold pieces in it. Now I will say, trying this on, it like I have a very small wrist and I'm finding it a little bit difficult to get it to like it does, it does bend, um, but I'm having a hard time getting it to stay. So with a smaller wrist, it might be a little bit more difficult, um, but I'm gonna play with that a little bit because obviously I'm just taking these things out of the box now. It also does come in predominantly gold with um, the accents of silver as well. So it's in both, both colorways. And again, this one is called the Ret. Yes, the Ret Cuff. And again, really, really great pairing piece to uh, the Sullivan. Okay, what's next? Um, let me see, what's next? Okay, we've got this silver cuff. This one is called the Netta cuff in, in silver, obviously. Um, I don't believe this also comes in gold. Again, very malleable. That one works really well on my small wrist. And it's just this really um, pretty, delicate, kind of little like, oops, just kind of bop, bop, bop. Um, so really simple. That's a really easy gifting item. Like this is gonna fit with all the things that whoever you know already wears. Um, so that's a pretty fantastic piece. Another great like simple um, works for everyone is the Solitaire Stud Pack in, in mixed metal. So it's got the little silvers with the sparkle and then the little golds with the sparkle. Uh, so these are super easy. I will say that I thought they were gonna be bigger um, from the pictures and in person they are quite small, um, but very, very pretty, very easy to wear. Uh, so that would be another great, just like easy piece. Um, what should I talk about now? Okay, so this one here, I don't know what these are called. <laughs> you know the drill, I don't know what anything's called. The mica earrings, mica earrings. This is uh, another collaboration with Rebecca Minkoff. So you can see here, they have this like front facing um, hoop which is very popular this season. And then it's got, can you see these? Hmm. And it's got these little hoops and some of them are just metallic. It's, it's not focusing. And then some of them have a little bit of sparkle, um, but these are really uh, quite pretty and delicate. And again, part of our Rebecca Minkoff collaboration. What should we talk about next? <laughs> okay, so these, um, 
one of our best sellers, at least for me anyways, is our Deco Drop earrings. They're these amazing classic like cushion cut um, drop earrings and we put out uh, a ring in our last collection called the Alina Ring, uh, which was kind of a new take on our Deco uh, cocktail ring, and it was like a circular cut. And so that's what these are here. You can see these are, here, can we move them? Um, so they are earrings to match that ring. There we go. So you can see them there. They're very pretty, very classic, never going to go out of style, and... Um, just super sparkly. That's great for just a little bit, like something a little bit more dressy, um, that kind of thing. Okay, uh, what shall I do next? We have these Stacy earrings. These kind of speak to that forward facing uh, hoop again. And they've got this really great detail that's modeled after ribbon. So as if a ribbon was tied, but obviously it's, it's metal. Um, I'm not usually a big hoop person, but I think these are really pretty. And also they're named Stacy, S T. A C E Y, I had to I had to stop for that for a second, um, which is also the name of my cousin, um, so uh, definitely gonna gonna show those to her, um, and then we've got our imperial stackable ring or imperial stacking ring, and these are a rose gold ring set, which is um, pretty sweet. We don't have a lot of rose gold rings at the moment, so you can see these here. They're actually three different pieces. So there's one, two, three, so you can wear them separate or together, uh, whatever works for you. I think those are quite pretty. And then this is kind of funky. So um, every, every now and then there's like a, a piece in the collection that I'm like, can I pull this off? <laughs> I'm not really that hip, I don't know. Um, but I love the way this looks. So this is the Pave Duo ring. I really should have done something about my nails before I started making this video. Like, at the very least, taken off my nail polish that is chipped from vacation. Um, but this is, what did I call this? The Pave Duo Ring. So it's like two rings, but then they're they're conjoined as well. Um, it's actually really comfortable. Um, you could easily write with it on. Uh, but yeah, so that's, I, I like how it fits. What size did I get? It, so they come in small, medium, medium, large. You can see on this side that they have openings, so you can make them... You can adjust them to your fingers right out of the box. This feels pretty comfortable for me. I like that a lot more than I expected to. That's a pretty sweet um, piece. We did those. Okay. And then next we have the Farron pulley bracelets. Um, so I love these because they are so simple. They remind me of our uh, retired piece from many moons ago, like when I started, called the Toujours bracelet. And you can see here um, there's like the pulley on it. To get the pulley, I always hold one in one hand and then just boop, and it will make it tighter. Um, but it has, it's pretty casual, which I like. I'm a fairly casual person, like kind of every day. Um, but it has a little bit, like it's going to catch the light a little bit as well. And then it also comes in gold. The gold looks a little bit different. You can see that the beading is um, different than the silver one. Um, and this one also kind of catches the light a little bit too. I just really like the pulley bracelets that we have, and I and I am like I said, I'm very casual. I wear a lot of like t-shirts and jeans, as demonstrated here. <laughs> um, so these, I think, I will probably get a ton of wear out of. Okay, and then I have another set here that I quite like. So this one, what is this one called? This is called the Esme Cuff. And I love this because it's so whimsical and it is so pretty and it just reminds me of a fairy tale, right? Like it's it's so like a Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> and I love that um, I have a very small wrist and I can mush that in um, and it will it fits quite nicely there. And these are, I think these are hand modeled leaves. And the nice thing about the Esme collection, they also have these beautiful... Um, beautiful earrings that go with this cuff like this is such a gorgeous piece I can see this set being like snatched up beyond belief for like bridesmaids um, for summer weddings I think this is so pretty and I love about the earrings that it's not just like one solid piece can you see this yeah so it's not just one solid piece you can see that it's attached just here and so there's actually like some movement in here so it's not going to be just like a solid earring there's like a little bit of fluidity a little bit of movement again a little bit more of that whimsy 
um, which is fantastic. And then we do have a silver version in the earrings. I'm not sure what happened to my box here. Um, or I, this card, this kind of fell off. But um, you can see that it's just the one leaf and it's a drop in silver. These kind of look like spoons to me. <laughs> But uh, but also very pretty. And then there is a necklace that goes with the silver one that you could make like a sat. Uh, and it's kind of a longer station necklace with, with these um, leaves sort of, you know, sporadically down the, down the chain. I really like this. I might not take this off. <laughs> um, I like it a lot more than I expected to. And it fits my wrist so well. I'm very, very pleased with this Esme one. Um, okay, and then... We have a little bit of color for spring and summer coming. Super exciting. Um, what shall I show you first? I'll show you the big statement necklace first. This is called the Ambrosia Statement Necklace. I am so excited to wear this in, in kind of more summery times. Although, you know, I might uh, I might throw it on every once in a while in the winter just to make myself feel better. Um, but this one is another versatile piece, right? No one's very surprised by that. You can see at the back we have an extender, much like the Sutton necklaces. And then you can take out different pieces. You can see here there's a bunch of like lobster clasps. And then the blues can come out like the each one it looks like is an individual, each one or two is an individual thing. So it looks like you can like take out the pink pieces and wear it more like blues and greens, or you can take out the blue and green pieces and wear it more like pink and gold or just the gold. So lots of versatility with this. It's going to match everything you wear. This would look really great with just like a white t-shirt and like jeans um, in the summer. Very excited for this. I love, I love the colorful stuff and I don't tend to buy a ton of the colorful stuff. And I have a secret too. I actually originally was not going to buy that necklace, but I fell in love with the Moxie bracelet. Is that what it's called? Mo Moxie Gem Cuff. And I was like, I have to have this bracelet. <laughs> it's so pretty. And then I was like, well, what am I going to put it on a tray with? And I was like, probably that necklace. <laughs> so you can see here, it picks up the same colors just like really, really nicely. The pinks and the greens and the blue and the navy blue. And then it is also malleable. My phone is blowing up. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Um, and then this can also, like I said, is malleable. So you can kind of squish it in if you have a smaller wrist and then look how pretty that is and it's got like a little bit of stone in it that kind of catches the light as well very very cute I like that a lot and then the last thing in terms of the jewels is something that I would love to get your feedback on because I haven't quite landed on how I feel about these um, these guys are called what are they called the Marie double drop earrings are you ready there are these beaded earrings here, I'm going to take one off. There are these beaded earrings, and I'll put it in actually. Um, and so the beaded is really popular. We have a couple of pieces like this in the new collection that are these, these beaded earrings. Can you see them? Can you see them? There we go. Um, so they're kind of fun. They're, they're like this cute like pink color. This actually throws back also to the colors in this too. Um, so very cute. These are not versatile, so you can't wear them just as a stud. But the interesting thing about them is that they're actually asymmetrical, um, which is the part that I don't know how I feel about it, and I would love your feedback. So maybe I'll just put in the other one. I don't normally do this, but it seems to work with, you know, we. I always talk about my, like, smallest earlobes in the world problem. Uh, <laughs> um, so here we go. This is them. They are asymmetrical. What do you think about this? I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't know, but I thought I would get them and at least put them on my tray. Would love to hear what you think about the asymmetrical look. Apparently this is like super popular um, for the upcoming season wearing things asymmetrically. Uh, so would love to know what you think of these and if you would order them and, and how you feel about them. I love the colors in it, um, kind of like the more muted pink with the with the fuchsia. Uh, just don't know how I feel about the, the asymmetricalness of it all. Is that a word? Asymmetricalness? Not sure. <laughs> Anyways, that is all of the pieces, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to do a little perusal. Yep, that is all the pieces in terms of jewelry that I ordered um, from the spring collection. Would love to hear what your favorites are, and we will chat soon. Keep warm!